Another useful figure for 3D printing is the ability to calculate volume and surface area. This can inform how much material the object will use or how much might it cost to get an electroplate, for example. So let's take a look. Now, there are two main things you need to be aware of before uh, run the volume and surface area calculation. First, you need to make sure that the model is watertight. So uh, this is for calculating volume and anyways, you have to uh, close all your model there should be no holes and uh, here we have to see if there are no holes so if we rotate on the bottom you will see there are two holes here one is here and one is here so we do a need to remove these so uh, what I ha uh, what we need to do is that we have to make it watertight so there is no hole so I have to go to geometry okay and modify topology and then I have to click on close holes. So where, where is the close hole? Close holes. Yeah, here it is. So I will press close holes and then it will close the hole. Now your object, your model over here is watertight. So there are no holes. You because you know when you are printing, you have to make make sure your model is watertight. So this is fixed. Now the second thing you need to be aware of is that the model is actually sized into the real world because uh, the units that is going uh, to be uh, later on is they are going to be printed in a real world size okay because uh, if this is a he uh, headband i cannot make it really uh, you know huge size otherwise it will print a huge size headband which is no use so it have to be actual size that somebody will be wearing it so this is a really important thing. So you, so most printers operate in millimeters. So it's probably best if you can have your model scaled to millimeters. Now, uh, scale in ZBrush is a whole can of worms that gets into a lot of stuff that I can uh, do in this video right now. So let's see what happens if we run the calculation. So uh, you might go to the transform option over here. And inside the transform uh, option, you will see there is a analyze selected subtool button. So we will select that one here. Okay. So where is the analyze button here? Here it is at the bottom, and you will click on this analyze uh, selected subtool button. And as soon you will press this, you will see this. Now, uh, this feature is recognized that the size of the model is about uh, this millimeter, this centimeter, inches, or whatever. Okay, this is just like the calculation it is like giving us. Now, directly interpreting that as millimeter, uh, we see is one to one ratio uh, here, but it's, it's also suggesting that you might want to calculate in centimeter, you want or feet or inches. So it's up to you what you want to do. But I prefer uh, millimeters as most of the 3D printers works on millimeters. Okay, so uh, whatever you will select, it was like suppose if you want uh, to calculate in centimeters and meters. So also it uh, it can convert in other options also. So you can uh, you select anyone and then it will be converted. Okay, automatically to that uh, units that you're selecting. So. It really just demands on whatever units you are most comfortable reading the results, but it's all, uh, you know, tune around the millimeter. So that's why I suggest you to use your object with the millimeters. So now we are, what we are going to do is that we're just going to select the millimeters. And now you can see that it will give you this option. It's telling us that our subtool is watertight. Okay, subtool is watertight. And now, if the subtool was not watertight, it would say that here it is. Uh, it would give us, you know, uh, some sort of a error that the subtool is uh, not watertight, and it might give us a volume uh, of that it's not a watertight, it's not solid. So something sort of that. Okay, and then maybe we uh, need to fix that. So now you can save this out to a text file by pressing this one. And uh, if you want to send it to someone's or uh, some printing uh, 3D printers, uh, like like people, if you want to send it to some 3D printing studio, just so that they can see that. 
so if you want it to or you just write it down and but i'm going uh, to cancel this one here now i have occasionally run into issues with this feature not calculating the volume even though the model is like you know a watertight but it's uh, sometimes what happens is that it uh, uh, it's watertight but then it claims that it's not watertight and that uh, and if this happens you might want to try something like decimating the model to a lower resolution or running dynamesh uh, you know uh, and figuring out something so in the, for this uh, particular uh, model i didn't got that watertight not watertight uh, issue here but sometimes you do get that your model is not watertight even though it is watertight Okay, so those issues aside, it's a pretty uh, like uh, it's a pretty useful feature for quickly getting the volume and surface area of your model. So if you have liked this video, please click on the like button, and I will be uploading new lessons, tutorials, live session, and full courses along with other useful videos. So don't forget to click on the bell icon, and so you can get all the notifications. I will highly appreciate if you'll give a shout out to my channel on your social media account which will help me to get more subscriber and this will motivate me to create more content for you all so guys thanks a lot for your support and please continue supporting me and take care of yourself till we meet for the next lesson